Hey y'all, okay, so today I'm gonna show you part two of like how you make your lesson into a PowerPoint. I mean, into a whole video. Um, so the first thing is you wanna record your voice over this PowerPoint. So you're gonna go to document here. And then usually it's on this, so you would click audio. And then you're gonna go ahead and click record. This shows you that I already have stuff recorded in here. So graphing systems of equations. So you would press record. Does a little three, two, one countdown. Yay. Um, so just like in Hollywood, have the little, they have the little snap thing. I like to do that too because I also have my camera recording my face, but we'll talk about that later. So graphing systems of equations, yay. How to graph a system of equations. So I would go through the slide step by step at my own pace, clicking. You see my little finger here? Clicking each animation as I was ready, okay? And it tells me what's about to come up next. So this is what the students will see. This is what is about to happen as a presenter. Okay, and so I would go through this at my own pace, just talking as I see fit. Yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. blah, 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 slopes and lines and graphing and oh my goodness, wow, incredible. The animations, just stellar, blah, blah, blah. Oh gosh, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I'm just getting through this one slide with you, okay? Blah, 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 uh-huh, yes, yes. Why are we singing longer than I expected? Here we go, moving the things. Uh-huh, okay. That's the end of well, it's not the end of that slide. Just kidding. Okay, so then it tells me next slide. That's how I know it's the end of that slide because this is a whole different thing, right? I feel like I'm done. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording. Okay, I'm gonna X out. Okay. If once I feel like I'm done, I'm gonna go to file. I'm gonna go to export and I'm gonna go to movie. Slideshow recording. Do not click self-playing. Slideshow recording, uh, 720p if you want it, higher resolution, sure, 720p seems to be fine. And then I go to next. I choose where I want this to go and then I press export. Yay me. That is part one. If you don't want to be extra like me, when you exported your video. Okay, graphing system. This is what it looks right. like with no picture of, of yourself. So this is an example of a system of equations. You have two equations, the purple one and the pink one, okay? Blah, 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 you know? Okay, great. Hold on. Yes, with the next equation. So on the same graph, you add two lines. Yeah. Done, example three, now we're gonna do You get it. Four. It's, it's going four step by step three. the way that Ooh, you decided to record I like this example, why do I like this example? Because Y is already isolated. Look at God. Mm. Okay, so all I have to do is find a Y intercept, find a slope, okay, and go ahead and graph that slope, negative two. Okay, so listen to me when I say recording your voice and going through the PowerPoint step by step is enough of a video. If you that then you're done if that's all you need and you're good with that you don't need anything else from me hello okay so step two this is a superfluous step which means this is extra you don't have to do this because your powerpoint with the voice recorded over it will automatically record as a video with your voice everything that's good the extra step is if you want your face to be in the video okay this is what takes a little bit of extra time but i'm going to try to explain how we make it happen so first of all you see i have this green screen um but anyway so i record myself at the same time as i'm talking through the powerpoint and recording the powerpoint on my laptop so the laptop is picking up the sound of my voice while my phone camera is picking up my face and that voice also i have a tripod there's a lot going on in the background but this is a tripod that a friend actually gave me um, and it sits there while I record on my laptop, right? So I press record on the com on the phone. My nail needs to be done. I press record on the phone. Um, I do the and action thing with my hands like they do in Hollywood, but with my hands. <laughs> After I press record um, on the audio so that I can see 
uh, the, the loud clap in the sound wave. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, so you'll need two files. You'll need the file of the movie that you created with your voiceover on the laptop, and you'll need the file from your phone camera. Okay, so first we're gonna be in iMovie. And then I'm gonna do Final Cut Pro. So I'm dragging both of the clips that we talked about. So the clip from my cell phone and the clip from um, the keynote or the PowerPoint. So the PowerPoint file is gonna go first on the timeline. Um, I'm just using two random videos that I made, not the same ones I was showing you. And then on top of that, you're gonna put the green screen video. Yay! Um, so now that I have both of those on the timeline, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in the timeline. Good. So now what I'm doing is I'm looking at the sound waves of both videos and looking to see where that clap is that I did at the beginning. So. I'm gonna split the top clip there so that I can move it back to be closer to the sound wave um, on the bottom one. Now that I click the top one, I'm gonna go to that first icon and I'm gonna click blue screen, green screen, and that is gonna make my background transparent. So now what you have to notice about this specific video is now it's all lined up. Um, and now that it is lined up, uh, that is where I start the actual talking of the video. So you, you, if you're looking at the sound waves, that's why I'm circling the cursor, you can see how they match up, how they look similar right on top of each other. I can see the initial clap at the beginning and then I can see where I start talking on both of them. They match, so I'm gonna split the top clip, split the bottom clip, and then I'm gonna get rid of that excess. And when I start the video, both of them will match the way that I want them to be matching. This is what you want, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Now take note that I am perfectly positioned in this video. So I am off to the left when I recorded. I did that on purpose because in iMovie, I can't move around my picture. I can just put two videos on top of each other. So what I'm doing now is actually fixing the green screen in the background so it doesn't look like it's wrinkled. Um, this tutorial is not really for that. I was just messing around with it um, and I fixed it a little bit. Maybe I'll do a separate tutorial for that. But that's this video, okay? It looks good, it matches, great. This is exactly what I want. They're right on top of each other. now. What most people are going to ask is, how do I move um, my face? So in iMovie, you actually cannot move your face. So the problem that you're probably gonna run into is what I'm about to show you right now. I have two clips. Notice that I'm not off to the left-hand side in this video. I'm right smack dab in the middle of this video, okay? Um, and I, when I click the green screen option, that first icon at the top and then the drop down menu, I'm in the middle of the screen. I'm covering the whole problem. I can cut myself out, but I can't move the frame. And so iMovie is annoying because of that. So if you are recording, record all the way to the left and only put stuff on the right side of the screen. But if you have Final Cut Pro, then you can do what I'm about to show you. So let's look at Final Cut Pro. Oh, actually, wait, before that, I wanted to show you how to finish the movie off. So um, I went back to that original clip that I was showing you. This is a video I did on explaining categories and grades to students. Um, I found the end of the video, so I'm gonna cut it off where 
it ends. And then once I cut it off where it ends, right after the explained thing comes up, I smile all real cute and stuff. And then I split both the top clip, I split the bottom clip. Um, and I delete them. I'm going to adjust that top clip a little because I didn't split it exactly perfectly for some weird reason. I always end my videos um, with a cross dissolve just so it like kind of fades to black. So I'm going to drag the cross dissolve under transitions at the end. I'm going to adjust the top clip just a little bit more and then do that. Okay. I'm going to go to export and I'm going to go to file. And then you would name your movie whatever you want to name your movie. Um, you would also then find where you want to save it and um, save it anywhere, make the name anything you want to, and then you would press save and then it takes a while to export. So depending on how long the movie is, is how long it would take to export the movie. Sometimes this can take a while, you know, find some stuff to do. Okay. So let's talk about Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to drag that quadratic formula video in there again where I'm smack dab in the middle of the screen. Um, if I find it anytime soon. <laughs> I think I was drinking some water or something. Anyway, so I'm going to my YouTube videos. I'm still going to drag the PowerPoint file or the Keynote file first. And then I'm going to drag the video from my phone second. I'm going to put that on top. I'm going to click the top video. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click effects and then I'm going to click keyer. So the key here, I will drag on top of my green screen video and now my background is transparent. Yay! We love to see it. So now that it's transparent, I click the video, I go to transform and I click that box on the transform and it gives me permission to shrink my video, click my video and move my video. There she is. This is the best, absolute best. I can move it anywhere I want to. Top, left, right, I can make it as big as I want to. I can make it as small as I want to. Um, and yeah, so Final Cut Pro is worth it for me just for this little fun fact, okay? So what I'm doing now is I'm just matching up the sounds again. If you're looking at the sound wave of the top video and the bottom video, you can kind of see that initial clap at the beginning. I'm just listening to it to make sure that the sound is uh, matching each other. And once it is doing that, I, I, I realize that I need to move it just a little bit so the sounds match. So, uh, so that those claps are right on top of each other. So I zoom in the timeline a little bit so that I could inch it a little bit left. And once I notice that it is correct, I'm testing it out again here um, to make sure that the sounds match. And once I know that the sounds match, I take the sound off of the bottom video because I don't want it to echo. Uh, I want it just the sound from my phone recording. Um, so maybe some of you are asking why did I record the PowerPoint file in the first place? Because it want, I want it to click at the right time while I was talking. So now I'm just looking at the video to make sure there's no glitches, that everything's happening the right way. I'm gonna cut off the end here 
um, just so that it's ready to export. Um, so yeah, you can see I'm going through the video, making sure everything matches, la di da di da. Um, and then I'm gonna go, that's about where I finished the video maybe. I'm listening to it, listening to it. Okay, right there is about where I finished the video. So I'm gonna split the clip or bleed the clip. That's the proper term in Final Cut Pro, bleed. I'm gonna delete the ends of those. Um, I can select them and merge the and make a new compound clip if I want to, but I'm not. I'm gonna go to export, go to Apple devices, very similar to iMovie find where I want to put it, call it something, blah, blah, blah. I'm canceling because I didn't really want to export that. And that's it, guys.